The mortal remains of former Deputy Chief Minister of Goa, Francis D'Souza, were laid to rest on Saturday. At the con-celebrated funeral mass, Archbishop Philip Neri Ferrao said, Though it was a matter of deep sorrow for the family, we have to rejoice since he is alive in the presence of God. Son of Francis D'Souza Joshua said, Francis lived for others and was an inspiration. He vowed to carry forward his dad's dream for Mapsa and work for the people. Rich tributes were paid to him by political and social leaders. Full state honours and a 21-gun salute was given to Francis D'Souza by Goa police before he was laid to rest. The body of MLA Francis D'Souza was taken in procession from his Mapsa residence to St. Jerome's Church through the bylanes of a town he had represented for decades. D'Souza died on 14 February. Age 64, he was undergoing treatment at a private hospital at Old Goa after undergoing surgery for cancer in the USA. An extremely accessible person and soft-spoken politician and the minority face of the BJP in Goa, Francis is survived by his wife Natty, daughter Sophia and son Joshua. Archbishop Philip Neri Fairround described Francis as an ideal husband and father, experienced statesman and extremely approachable to ordinary people. Eventually, people will love you less and less. You are born to die and that's just a fact for certain, Francis told Sophia, his daughter. He hoped for a miracle that he would get well, she said. He was an ambassador for Konkani, Goa and its culture, Sophia said. Joshua, his son, said his mother was the glue of the family while his father was an inspiration. He has vowed to carry forward the dream of his father and work for the people of Mapsa. Reading beneath the mango trees, eating tangents in the summer, 
and gathering up the crop when it was time to harvest. The only son of three sisters, he was the green-eyed boy, the cause for concern and envy, and he told us that his mother and other family members carried him to the age of nine so that his feet never saw in the ground. He will look through us in our actions and decisions. His imprint is on us and we will be his legacy and we will carry on it further with humility, pride and grace, just as he would have wanted it. Along with the blessings of my father, my family and the people of Mapsa, I shall continue to serve the people of Mapsa during his untimely demise and fulfill all his dreams that he had for his hometown and his fellow Mapshikas. Describing him as a man with a golden heart, Aldona MLA Glenn Ticklow said that he was so accessible to people of all strata that he did not even have to canvass in the successive elections which he won from Mapsa. Earlier on Friday, ailing Chief Minister Manohar Parikar had visited the residence of late Francis D'Souza and offered his condolences to the bereaved family. Speaker Pramod Sawan, ministers, MLAs and people from all walks of life were present to bid a final farewell to Francis D'Souza. All he cared was for his people, and which is clearly exemplified by his constituents who voted for him even without canvassing term after term. I cannot capsule the life of Francis in these few words, but all I can say is that he has left behind fond memories and a personality that we could all strive to achieve. BJP Goa State Unit President Vinay Tendulkar said the death of Francis was a great loss to the BJP. He described him as outgoing and accessible to people and a mentor to him and others as an experienced legislator. He said he would pray to Jesus to provide solace to the family. Tourism Minister Manohar Azgaonkar said that Francis broke the notion that BJP was a Hindu party and Manohar Parikar was a Hindu leader. Francis D'Souza was a man of the world. BJP is a time of the world. The BJP is a man 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 of the world. And the BJP is a man of the world. 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 For Prime, Video Journalist, Renuka Talgonkar, Mapsa.